but hey, that was one of the best years of my coaching life. To be that involved and actually have an opportunity to go uh, through the, the playoffs and, uh, and win it. And to knowledge, I think we're the smallest Division III school ever to win a national championship. And uh, very much, uh, very fortunate that uh, we got where we did. But a lot of hard work by a lot of players and... Uh, Bison defense will be strong again, keeping the ball outside of the Bison 18 the rest of the way. The, uh, anytime you have a championship year, a lot of things have to fall in place. And it was not by far my best team in terms of record and or by the, even the standard of play, at least in the first half of the season. But what it was is the most opportunistic group of guys we've ever had and the further we went, the more confident they were that this was going to be a year for them to win it. And uh, so we were the 32nd team going into the tournament out of 32. And we were the last one standing. And uh, that was an incredible accomplishment for that bunch of guys and for my coaching staff. Um, the system of play and the changes that the coaches had to make I had three very capable helpers. George Williams, who was a uh, fifth-year student in art and uh, had been a conference player for me, was the one of the assistants. Jack Schaefer was working in the education office doing special advising and things. He was the other coach, as was then uh, Steve Olpini. So I was very fortunate we had three people that year helping, and the uh, we needed the wisdom of all of them. So anyway, as we get on to it, uh, we were the last team going in, and the playoffs went such that we played uh, uh, at Greensboro College in the first round, and we had Greensboro College and um, uh, Virginia Wesleyan were the two teams in the bracket along with Methodist. So we faced off with uh, Greensboro, the home team, and uh, wound up in a 2-2 regulation game and won it in penalty kicks. So we faced off with uh, the Greensboro, the home team, and uh, wound up in a 2-2 regulation game and won it in penalty kicks. Uh, Larry Knoll, one of our starting centers, had been sent off right before half, so we played the second half with only 10 men. And a uh, huge uh, victory. The second day we played against Virginia Wesleyan, a uh, very, very good team. Uh, and won 1-0 in overtime in that game on a, a goal that no one ever caught on camera for either team. It was scored by Pat Ritchie off their long throw in and a flick into the net. And uh, just a tremendous opportunity to win the South. Uh, then, uh, fortunately for us, uh, the way the tournament was set up, the next game uh, we hosted if we won. So we were fortunate to get a home game and at least at the beginning, we thought unfortunate that we were going to be playing University of San Diego, who was the national champion from the year before. So uh, home game came. It was a little bit on the misty, uh, slick uh, grass. Uh, and San Diego complained about the surface. They complained about the soccer ball. They complained about everything. They're used to playing in an excellent climate. So anyway, that game, uh, we made a few more personnel changes. Uh, uh, we were up uh, with two to one with less than a minute to go. Uh, unfortunately, uh, gave up a, a, an opportunity for them to get a, uh, a long throw in from the deep corner. Uh, the ball got scuffed around and went in, and with less than a minute to go, they scored a uh, second goal and tied the game. Because there was no game following, we played uh, two 15-minute overtimes, then two 15 more overtimes and then went to the shootout of which we won on the 10th kick 5-4 uh, and uh, Star Sanyang scored and their kicker uh, uh, had missed rate before that. So then doing that we were very fortunate to come out of that one and we were then into the final four which was being played at uh, Trenton, uh, New Jersey uh, and we the first draw was against Oshkosh, Wisconsin that was coming into the uh, tournament uh, with a record of 19, uh, one and one, or no, 19, oh, and one. They had not lost all year. 
and uh, again, 0-0 zero, zero game. Uh, very tight defenses both ways. Both goalkeepers played extremely well. Um, went again to the overtime, and 0-0 a zero, zero went into the penalty kicks, and on uh, the penalty kicks, uh, we were uh, excellent, and they got so concerned about Malasala's saves that they missed actually the goal totally on one. So we wound up winning that when by official score was 4-2 in the penalty kicks, which put us into the final then against uh, Johns Hopkins. And again, kind of by fate, John Hopkins had upset uh, the home team, Trenton, New Jersey, in, the, in their bracket in the semifinal. So uh, the, it was kind of like playing a neutral game, which gave us uh, even more hope. That game uh, against Hopkins, a uh, lot of controversy uh, before it because of some statements made by their coach about um, us being so international, not being really U.S., and a number of things. It got a lot of press, negative press, uh, eventually for them and uh, turned out to be a very uh, somewhat hostile environment, I guess, even in a neutral setting. But we prevailed and went into overtime and uh, the second overtime, uh, at the beginning of that the second overtime, I made a decision that was very controversial. Instead of putting Mike Rogers, uh, our starting forward, back into the game, I made the decision to put Steve Linquist uh, a reserve player, very, very fast, uh, didn't play a lot, but had the ability to uh, use his speed. 15 seconds into the, uh, the second overtime, at the kickoff, the ball goes back to our goalkeeper, Malasala threw a, a very quick ball out. Uh, Steve took it, went down the right flank, crossed it across, and Pat Ritchie scored again on the backside. And that was with 12 minutes and 59 seconds still to go. And so the next 12 minutes and 59 seconds were probably some of the longest seconds of my life. Um, but we prevailed in a great celebration. We had a lot of alumni there from all over, probably 200 or so alumni, plus parents, plus others. Great celebration and uh, a very, very great honor for Bethany College. Championships. They are the best in the country right now. A team that wasn't even supposed to be in the playoffs here. It's just, right now, I, I don't think it's really, it's just an incredible thing. Players embrace each other on the field. And, uh, Molly saw uh, incredible stuff from him all season long. He's the reason the Bison made the playoffs here. After yeah. the game against Virginia, West, West Virginia Wesley and the big save, it, it rode from there. And, and uh, there was just a feeling of, amongst the team and and they were going to go all the way. They knew it. And right now, Dave Farmer and Molly Sala, they're going yeah. to get the Gator load. They're oh, going, yeah, they are. They're going to get Coach Cunningham now. I'm going to have to watch this as the fans here going down to the fence. They're, they want to see, you know, their, their, their team, their, their, this is their squad out there. And the team stuck together throughout the year. Adversity, really the uh, <laughs> oh, story. Oh, they're going to get him. Oh, they're going to get him. Oh, they're going to get him. We came back and there was a huge celebration at the, uh, the field house when we got back. Uh, people waiting for our bus at three and four o'clock in the morning. Uh, then we had a several ceremonies, one which was by Dr. Cummins and the whole team. Uh, we were able to raise enough money to get the national championship rings. And uh, so every team member of the 23 that were eligible for them got a ring and we had an amazing ring ceremony and a great celebration campus-wide, both in the cafeteria uh, later on and so forth. So just a tremendous, tremendous uh, group of memories, uh, never to be forgotten. And uh, of course, you know that uh, we're celebrating now our 20th year of, uh, can't believe it's been 20 years ago until I looked at how young I looked. But uh, in the process uh, uh, this year for Bassa Weekend, at the second week in May. Uh, a number of the guys from the 94 team will be back and then the college is also hosting a major 20-year uh, celebration at homecoming next fall 
and we're hoping that Milo Sala from the goalkeeper that's from uh, the Gambia will be returning. Sean Meal will be coming back from um, Norwich, England, and uh, Giggsy will be coming back as well from England, and uh, the other uh, members of the team. We're hoping to get them either in May or in October. But uh, a year-long celebration for a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for the men's soccer program.